New York Institute of Technology is a private, independent, non-profit, non-sectarian, co-educational research university. Founded in 1955, NYIT adopted an European Polytechnic University model and focuses primarily on the instruction and research of technical arts and applied sciences. NYIT has five schools and two colleges, all with a strong emphasis on technology and applied scientific research. School of Architecture and Design, School of Education, School of Engineering and Computing Sciences, School of Health Professions, School of Management, College of Arts and Sciences and College of Osteopathic Medicine. The university has three New York campuses one in Old Westbury, Nassau County, Long Island, one in Central Islip, Suffolk County, Long Island, and one near Columbus Circle in Manhattan. As well, it has several global campuses in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates, Nanjing, China, and Vancouver, Canada. NYIT offers more than 100 degree programs, including undergraduate, graduate, and professional degrees, in more than 50 fields of study, including architecture and design, arts and sciences, education, engineering and computing sciences, health professions, management, and osteopathic medicine. NYIT awards the Bachelor of Architecture, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, and Bachelor of Fine Arts degrees, as well as various master's and doctoral degrees. NYIT has degree partnerships with over a dozen Chinese universities, as well as with universities in France, Taiwan, Brazil, India and Turkey. In addition, NYIT has student exchange programs with universities in Denmark, Netherlands, China, United Kingdom, India, Costa Rica, Germany, Brazil and France. NYIT sponsors many notable events and conferences related to academic programs every year throughout the world. NYIT's faculty works with students in a number of research areas, including alternative energies, bioengineering, DNA, heart disease and Parkinson's disease research, educational technology, and robotics, among others. NYIT is the birthplace of entirely 3D CGI films. NYIT operates several business incubators. Student athletics, both organized and intramural, are a part of student and alumni life. NYIT's intercollegiate competitive sports teams include its four-time national champion lacrosse team. All of NYIT's teams compete in NCAA Division II except baseball, which competes in Division I. The NYIT bears a part of the East Coast Conference. NYIT enrolls approximately 9,500 students across its campuses in New York State. NYIT students represent nearly all 50 U.S. states and 99 countries. U.S. News & World Report lists NYIT as a more selective university and consistently ranks it in the top 50 among U.S. universities in the North. History Foundation and Vision in 1910, NYIT's predecessor, New York Technical Institute, was licensed by the New York State Board of Regents. In 1955, NYIT opened under a provisional charter granted by the New York State Board of Regents to NYIT. Its first campus opened at 500 Pacific Street in the borough of Brooklyn, New York. The founders of NYIT, and in particular Alexander Shuri, started NYIT with the mission of offering career-oriented professional education, providing all qualified students access to opportunity, and supporting applications or oriented research that benefits the larger world. Shuri later served as NYIT's first president. NYIT sought to meet critical national demands, particularly the need for scientists, engineers, and high-level technicians in the United States. 
In the higher education community at the time, a debate arose around the concern that humanities studies would be overshadowed by too much emphasis on science and engineering. NYIT's goal was to create a balance between science, engineering and a liberal arts education, and ever since, it has been focusing on this model to prepare students for current and future careers. NYIT's mission resonated among industry and learners. By the 1958-1959 academic year, the university had more than 300 students, and the time had come to expand its physical operations. In April 1958, the college purchased the Pythian Temple at 135-145 to 145 W. 70th Street, in Manhattan for its main center. The building, adjacent to the planned Lincoln Center for the Performing Arts, was an ornate 12-story structure with a columned entranceway. Built in 1929 at a cost of $2 million, it included among its features a huge 1,200-seat auditorium. In 1958, NYIT sponsored the first National Technology Awards, created by Frederick Pitterer, an organizer of international fairs and a member of the NYIT Board of Trustees, to help raise funds for the NYIT Science and Technology Laboratories. The awards, held at the Waldorf Astoria Hotel, were attended by several hundred guests, with entertainment provided by the U.S. Air Force Band. 36th President of the United States Lyndon Johnson was the keynote speaker. His speech was broadcast nationally by the ABC radio network. Among the honorees were Drive, Wernher von Braun and Major General Bernard Schriever, Commanding General of the Ballistic Air Command. Photos, press clippings, and audio tapes of the event are on view at the Lyndon Johnson Library at Austin, Texas. Distinction through technology NYIT's faculty designed curricula to incorporate modern technologies with teaching and applied academics. In 1959, NYIT introduced teaching machines for student instruction in physics, electronics, and mathematics. NYIT also pioneered the use of mainframes as a teaching tool, having received its first donated by the CIT Financial Corporation in 1965. The curriculum was successful enough that NYIT received two grants totaling approximately $3 million from the federal government, one to develop a system of individualized learning through the use of computers, the other to develop a computer-based course in general physics for midshipmen at the United States Naval Academy in Annapolis. MD. NYIT was a pioneer in 3D computer animation. Before Pixar and Lucasfilm, there was New York Institute of Technology Computer Graphics Lab. In 1974, New York Institute of Technology Computer Graphics Lab was established and attracted the likes of Pixar Animation Studios President Edwin Catmull and co-founder Al V. Ray Smith, Walt Disney Feature Animation Chief Scientist Lance Williams. DreamWorks animator Hank Grieb, and Netscape and Silicon Graphics founder James H. Clark. Researchers at the New York Institute of Technology Computer Graphics Lab created the tools that made entirely 3D CGI films possible. NYIT CG Lab was regarded as the top computer animation research and development group in the world during the late 70s and early 80s. In 1995, NYIT's School of Engineering took first place in the U.S. Department of Energy's Clean Air Road Rally. The student engineering team spent three years designing and building the high-performance hybrid electric car that beat out 43 other vehicles. In 1998, NYIT opened its first international program in China. In 1999, Bill Gates spoke at NYIT and received NYIT's Presidential Medal. In 2002, NYIT installed the fastest broadband network on the East Coast. The 21st century in 2003, NYIT opened its Bahrain site to students seeking an American-style education in the Middle East. 
In 2005, NYIT participated in its first solar decathlon, an international competition sponsored by the U.S. Department of Energy. NYIT was one of 19 colleges internationally and the only school in the New York metropolitan area. The team, composed of students and faculty, captured fifth-place honors. In 2007, NYIT co-hosted the International Energy Conference and Exhibition in Daegu, South Korea. In that year, the university also received $500,000 in federal funding to develop a green print initiative to research alternative fuel technology and determine its carbon footprint. In 2008, NYIT installed a state-of-the-art 3D motion capture lab for its fine arts program in Old Westbury. The system allows the university to use Hollywood technology to teach the next generation of computer animators. Later that year, NYIT was awarded a $130,000 research contract by United Space Alliance to help NASA scientists design the crew module of the Orion spacecraft using 3D motion capture technology. NYIT's College of Osteopathic Medicine also uses 3D motion capture technology to help doctors better identify mobility and stability problems in patients with Parkinson's disease. NYIT sponsored the first annual International Water Conference in July 2008 at the United Nations in New York City. The event brought together to representatives from non-governmental organizations, international corporations, and universities to discuss the need to safeguard the planet's water resources. The following year, NYIT sponsored its second UN event, the International Energy Conference to welcome energy secretaries, policymakers, and executives from multinational companies to examine opportunities and innovations in the field of sustainable technology. NYIT closed its campuses in Jordan and Bahrain in 2013 and 2014 respectively. NYIT had to close its campus in Bahrain because the Higher Education Council of Bahrain decided to come up with a new set of regulations aiming to standardize all private universities in Bahrain. NYIT could not adapt to the changes like the other local universities in Bahrain, as all NYIT campuses around the world must follow the same American standard programs. Otherwise they would be threatened to lose their international license and accreditation. Strategic Plan NYIT's plan for its future is a continuation of its original mission, defined by a 25-year plan introduced in 2005 called NYIT 2030. Its goal is to achieve greater prominence for NYIT as a technological research university. Using NYIT, deep-rooted technical expertise to advance the frontiers of education and research domains in areas of significant societal need. The university will focus on healthcare and medicine, sustainable energy, financial systems, defense and security, and science, technology, engineering, architecture and mathematics education. NYIT will also grow in size and increase in selectivity, creating a solution-oriented, forward-looking and far-reaching institution with global impact. Various aspects of the plan include having a campus IT and physical infrastructure befitting a world-class technological university, bringing in a larger student population while also improving selectivity and students' academic profile, a new research faculty, and increasing participation in undergraduate research, international exchange programs, and living and learning communities. The undergraduate student body will exemplify a higher academic profile and be more diverse with respect to gender, ethnicity, geography and course of study. NYIT will also increase the size of its full-time graduate student population while enhancing selectivity and diversity.
From 2000 to 2015, NYIT invested approximately $1 billion in strategic initiatives to enhance the quality of the university as a whole. This money came from a combination of a plethora of small federal grants, New York State grants, and National Science Foundation grants as well as university funding and contributions from alumni, corporations and foundations. For example, in 2002, federal government awarded NYIT $0.3 million for a new cybersecurity lab. In 2009, NYIT received a multi-million dollar donation from Lumitha Corporation. In 2011, NYIT received a $0.16 million grant from the Verizon Foundation. In 2013, NYIT received $1.4 million in state and federal grants for a portion of the costs required for constructing NYIT's new $4 million Entrepreneurship Technology Innovation Center. In 2014, NYIT received a $0.23 million National Science Foundation grant to purchase a sputtering machine used in the electronics and medical fields to create thin film sensors, and in 2015, NYIT received from New York State a grant of $0.4 million for a portion of the costs required to renovate a 5,300-square-foot facility to house three new laboratories on its old Westbury campus. The ability to attract greater research funds is needed to meet the goals of the plan. The strategic plan calls for the creation of a research portfolio of a size, significance, quality, and prominence that positions NYIT to impact global challenges. Some of the steps that NYIT took in the 2015-2016 academic year in implementing the strategic plan include, among others, Continuation of annual installments of smart classrooms and video wall installations. Continuation of investing in a lot of technology in NYITs, laboratories and studios. Installment of clean room sputtering machine inside NYITs Entrepreneurship Technology Innovation Center in fall 2015. Mobile first website unveiled in January 2016. Continuation of adding 3D printers across many departments and laser scanners capable of measuring surface morphology in 3D. Adding new IDEXA full body scanners. New Quark C PET metabolic testing systems that will enable to assess the physiological response to exercise in the medical school. Investing heavily in infrastructure upgrades for wireless technology. Starting construction of new residence halls. A new dining facility. A new academic building and new executive offices on NYIT's old Westbury campus. And opening a new campus in Arkansas that will conduct research and offer graduate-level education and degrees such as Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine, Master of Science in Medical Healthcare Simulation, and Master of Science in Neuromusculoskeletal Sciences, among others. Also, in 2015, NYIT opened a 10,000-square-feet cybersecurity research center in Port Washington, New York where NYIT's faculty and students do research for the federal government, IBM, Cisco and other companies. 